Father's keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here.
Dillian's soul. And it will take it and never give it back. She can search and search, but she will never find it. She's let the darkness in. It's the end. The darkness will take her like it took her mother. She can't resist. We are even trying to retrieve it. She's lost. Where is she going? She's got to go deeper to find the head, deeper towards the darkness. The beast. Beast is lowering her deeper, deeper into the darkness. Deep, deep down. 
The beast has the head. Got the head. She will be trapped. The beast has the head and he's using it. Once she gets down there, she'll have guns. Wearing her down. The darkness will take her like it took her mother. Deeper and deeper. Although Sigurd kills the dragon, Rian wants to keep Fafnir's gold all for himself. Rian also wants the strength and wisdom of the dragon, so he drinks its blood and asks Sigurd to roast Fafnir's heart for him. Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. It was a Why does she fall for that? She never learns. Beast. She comes out of the rooms between reality and illusion. He knows how to draw her away. He's using you. He put the darkness in you. Where is she now? The darkness killed your mother. Where is she now? Where is she? She's here. With her. Sigurd's newfound power lets him hear the birds speak, and they say. Sigurd should eat the heart himself. Rian wants Fafnir's gold. Sigurd should kill Rian before Rian kills him. Sigurd should find Brynhild, the Valkyrie, who sleeps an enchanted sleep. Sigurd heeds the bird's advice. He kills Rian, eats Fafnir's roasted heart, and takes Fafnir's treasure. And he embarks on a new quest to ride to Hinderfell and find Brynhild, the Valkyrie. The lights run out. She'll die. She has to do it. She can't. She'll die. She has to. <laughs> She's going to go through anyway. The light will run out. Run out. The darkness will spread. And she'll die. <laughs>
What's she doing? She's lighting the door. She's picking light. She's making a fire. She's got light on the other side. She'll be safe. What's her plan? What's she thinking? help but think of him. A tender guiding flame in a world so black. The longer it burned, the more she convinced herself that there was nothing beyond its reach. How little separates us from what we fear. Go down, go down, go down. She has to. Keep Sigurd learns that Brynhild had once disobeyed Odin, and so he had her punished stuck her with a sleep thorn and put her body within a rampart of burning shields. Only a man who knew no fear would ever reach her. But like me, Sigurd is fearless and passes through the flames just as I did and wakes the sleeping warrior girl. She teaches him the secret wisdom of runes, namely victory runes, ship runes, runes for persuasion, runes for truth, runes for healing and help, runes for perception and power. Like Sigurd, the greatest young warrior of the north, you must learn the secrets of the runes to fight amongst the gods in hell.